All right, hello, I am Jog, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Last time, well, to be honest, I'm not too happy with how everything went last time, but we got ourselves some more incubators. We are getting our ranches more or less set up, as well as I'm working on a tank for our cool slush geyser. Also, in the last episode, we actually discovered that I have a iron volcano alongside a hydrogen vent and a second cool slush geyser. Oh my goodness. On this one, I've been kind of playing back and forth about how I want to do things or what I, how I, yeah, how I want to do things and why I want to do things. Um, I think my plan for this one is I want to get these guys, these Drekos. I've been kind of planning whether or not to get dig in here because of the chlorine and the hydrogen. I'm just going to deal with it when the time... I'll just deal with the gases as they come along. But I want to get these Dracos because these are another critter that we can actually tame. Maybe not this one considering how old it is, but maybe the other one. I want to get these guys because they, be, they can not only be tamed, but they can also be... We actually go over to the uh, database. They can be sheared. I said it would actually show up on this. No? Okay. Well, either way, these guys can be sheared with... The Drekos giving us the equivalent of Reed Fiber, like that we get from Thermal Reed, or if we get their other variant, the Glossy Draco, we can shear them to get plastic, which is something I won't another which is an item that I won't be able to get unless we actually go further down and get things such as oil. So I I think I might get that. The only issue with that, these guys, is that the have this scales that only grow back when they are in a hydrogen uh, gas area. So that does mean trying to get their uh, habitat set up is not always going to be the easiest. Alongside the fact that these guys, I should have also shown that off before, they eat mealwood. So if I'm going to actually ranch these critters... They need to eat, and I still am many cycles off from actually being able to grow crops if I want to get the- wrong one. If I want to get the Lokovo achievement. Speaking of which... Uh, I need 40,000 more calories, which honestly we'll get that pretty soon enough. It's carnivore that's going to be the issue right now. We still have 60 cycles, but I pretty much have to eat the 400,000. And, well, that's why I really need these ranches to be being built. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to build myself another ranch. Actually, I'm going to make two of them. Because I'm also going to put in an environment for these puppet eggs. Although I'm going to make theirs a little bit different. So let me get things organized, I guess, for lack of a better word. And I'll be back in just a minute. Alright, so while I got the blueprint set up, uh, here's what I'm going to be trying to do. So this right over here is going to be for the Drekos. It's going to be essentially the same thing as what the hatches are. But there is going to be a difference. I actually have a bottle emptier up here. I'm going to essentially use this bottle emptier to drop down a tiny blob of water onto this tile. Essentially, I want my Drekos to go in here. But with that blob of water there, they will never cross it. Meaning my Drekos will just stay in this one area. Three three tiles will eventually be replaced with... If I can find it. Farm tile. And be turned from mealwood so that they can... Uh, so that my Drekos can eat... And essentially it'll stay over here. That little blob of water will not count against the room size. So all of this will still count for that. So it's going to be very similar. And if I didn't put the blob of water there, then the Dracos could just go all over the place. I just want to do that just so I know that they're kind of trapped like these guys. Now this one is completely different. If it wasn't obvious based around the size. This one is also going to be 96 tiles. But I have this down here. I'm going to be using my Germany polluted water. So when this thing backs up, I'm going to have the polluted water go up this way, go up to this liquid pipe, and just flood this room with that dirty water. I'm also going to be putting in these airflow tiles onto the side. They will allow the gas to flow, but block liquid. So that way, polluted water comes up here, will put out uh, polluted gas... A polluted oxygen, and my brain is not working. My puffets will be able to come up here, eat that polluted slime, a polluted oxygen, uh, drop off slime, and yeah, we'll essentially have those guys going. I'm also going to be using this guy over here, another bottle emptier, to make a liquid lock. 
The idea being that I'm going to fill these four corridors with water, essentially making this area and this area be completely uncrossable by gases. That way, any polluted oxygen that comes into this side will not be able to escape because it won't be able to get through the liquid and come back out into the base. And vice versa, I won't have anything like chlorine, hydrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide be able to go from out here into here. Alright, here we go. I want to cycle 42. They're going to put that water up in there. That's going to go. I'm going to tell the thing to now stop. And we're going to deconstruct it. So yeah, we're going to get water over the place. That's fine. I can just clean that up. But that one little blob right there is all that I need now just to get everything more or less going. And yeah, that water will just go wherever. And if we just put one block right there, we'll be fine. And finally, my research got done. I've been waiting for this for a while. Fire poles, because I want to make these dang things. To make my characters be able to go up and down this base a little bit quicker. Just, my water system is not set up the best for this. Oh, please be something good. It's food. It is food. It is bristleberry. I mean, I could also use the blossom seeds to make myself crystal berry, but uh, I'll take food. I'll definitely take food right now, because we are just always low on food. If we can just get local out of the way, I can start growing food. But then again, I still, I still need to get in the goddamn carnivore. A... Okay, so literally, I think, like, in a day or two, we should have enough... We should get that one achievement out of the way. Oh, I did not even notice this! But they actually did finish with the, uh... Analyzation? Anal analyzing this thing. So here we can actually see that this thing, it will go dormant in 27 cycles. It outputs about 1400 grams of water. And it erupts... Yeah, it, it is active for s almost 69 cycles out of every 112. So it's only active like one out of every two days when you take the entire thing into consideration. And this thing will go dormant in 26 days. So... Oh, I'd like to get this thing built, like now, guys. Now you're gonna hate me, but I want, I I want the inner dome set up so I can actually like open this thing up. Oh, then we finally do it. Logovar has been achieved. Have duplicates consumed 400 selling calories of food without having any seeds, implanted boxes, farm tiles, or hydroponics. There we go. With that achievement out of the way, I can now actually start growing food via, well, palm tiles. Did you just get yourself stuck? I think you just got yourself stuck, you little fool. Yep, they are entombed. I swear, duplicates, you cannot trust them. Why is nobody doing this? Guys, I, I know you're hungry. So... Would you get rid of the Dracos? The Hatchlings! Thank you! I was gonna say, these guys are great! Because they give you so much food when they eventually go. That one guy gave me 3,200 calories of meat, of meat, which I want to say is the best, well, the second best critters in the game, because everything else, like, uh, Dreko's here, if we go over to them, when they go, oh no, they also give you 30, 32, okay, but they took longer than that. 
Yeah, because things like puffs only give you uh, 1,900. Why is nobody cooking up that meat? Oh, they can't get to the meat, that's why. Also, I don't have barbecue on. Stupid me. That's why nobody's cooking up the meat. And then I have barbecue set. Yeah, because we want barbecue, because that's essentially how everyone's getting their meals right now. Or gonna be getting their meals. In the future. Between barbecue and pacu filet is gonna be the best way of getting our food. I maybe should think about trying to get more of these guys. Issue being that I have no way of dealing with their eggs unless I move them manually over to this one. Okay, so uh, another thing about these incubators is that we can actually attack the critters inside the incubators. It's terrible, but it's something we should be able to do. Pretty sure you can do that, because I don't have a place set up for this little guy, the Sage Hatchling. They changed that, because I know you used to be able to do this. Hmm, you can't do that anymore. I'm just going to remove him. No, 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 it was just wasn't on the thing for whatever reason. Oh, okay. Uh, it's something, it's something I wouldn't have to deal with so soon. We got, a temp we got an issue with heat. So over here, it is hot. It's at like 40 degrees Celsius. And if we go over to these plants, mealwood wants to be, tr be between 10 to 30 degrees Celsius. So this mealwood here is not growing because it's too hot. Meaning, well, obviously I need to try and cool it down somehow. And I'm trying to think what my easiest way of doing that. Honestly, the easiest way is probably just using uh, the pipes. Oh, oh, that cold water I got over there. I'll go with my plumbing. Do I have a research? No. I haven't researched that yet. Go over to plumbing liquids. This guy, radiant piping. We could essentially use the coldness of this brine. Move that over here using, like, insulated pipes so that it doesn't, like, get the rest of the base. Use the radiant pipes so it just take that chill into the environment and then do whatever with it. Should also actually be making a oxygen generator using this water. Should forget that set up. Should have done that probably sooner rather than later, but eh. Unfortunately, I got nothing that's good. The best thing I got is this, slow heating. So the material requires a large amount of energy to raise in temperature, and therefore it heats and cools slowly. So igneous rock, it looks like, is going to be my best bet for making a oxygen sealed room for what I have planned. Hmm. So this is new to me. The conductive panel. Uh, carry liquid and allow extreme temperature exchange. So it seems like it's just a more... Maybe a more powerful radiant pipe? So the front is made out of copper. Overheat plus 50, high thermal conductivity. Decor, overheat plus 50, high thermal conductivity. Like, as an input and output, I don't know how much of a difference that makes. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna be looking into this one because I'm a little confused by this. Why would I want this? I guess it takes up three spaces rather than no, does it? No, it only takes up one space for a hundred compared to fifty. It can transfer heat effectively even if no liquid is passing through. Rain pipes. Uh, pumping cold liquid can run through in hot areas to help cool them down. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look that one up, because I'm confused by that. Here we go. This is what I've been waiting for. Mechatronic Engineering. It's about time. It took a long time to get to. 
And well, to be honest, I don't even think I have. I, I'm trying to think. Uh, that would be an automation. No, shipping. Okay, thankfully, the conveyor rail only wants just basic metal, but the auto sweeper wants refined metal. And the auto sweeper was kind of what I've been waiting for. Uh, essentially, they use this thing. So, I need 200 for the auto sweeper, then another 200 for the conveyor loader, and I also don't even have space in this room. Thankfully, I can just put that right here, and it will be fine. So, the basic idea is that I'm going to have that thing go... The thing will essentially look into the room, and it's like, hey, um... There's too many critters in this room, probably because there's too many eggs. It's going to pick up the eggs, put them in this thing, and this thing will take it wherever I want them to go. Which, I think, for right now... The easiest thing is probably going to be telling it to put them right down here. As awful as it seems. Essentially, the eggs will go down into this water bin, and if we need eggs... We pick the eggs up, and we put them into incubators, and if we don't, well, there'll be meat down below for us to collect. It is a terrible, terrible thing, but such is the way of life. It's the circle of life. But yeah, I had to wait for someone uh, to get the Metronics Engineering to be skilled enough to actually build a conveyor rail. The other issue is that this will require power, and... Yeah, we're kind of using a lot of power at the moment. Granted, these things don't, aren't going to be on all the time, but still, how much power does this thing even want? Only 120 watts, so that's not too bad. I think this also wants power of 120 watts as well. So, yeah. So it can be an issue if we have too many of these things activated at one time. Otherwise, it should be fine. Alright, well, I am definitely not doing well enough to really actually take another duplicate. <sighs> like, I am struggling right now just to keep everybody alive. It's literally just trying to find critters, get rid of critter, feed people, and try to survive for another five minutes. So, I'm sorry to say, but I think just like that previous hatch, as much as I really would like to get more, uh, I think we're just going to have to be food for right now. Also, yeah, the puppets, uh, unfortunately, were born, and, well, I didn't get them moved into their storage bin in time. Oops. That's my bad. That is my bad. And I'm not... Uh, then there has to be more of them around someplace. There has to be more on this map. I doubt I got rid of them all. thought you'd go up. Well, that stinks. Alright, so here we can actually see. Damn, what's up? Telling the people are storming. I know they're hungry. Uh, this pump in here is currently getting rid of all this polluted oxygen and all of this carbon dioxide. 
And in time, this entire room will become nothing more than a vacuum. When that time comes, I'm gonna activate this switch, which will cause this manualized, yeah, manualized airlock to shut, and thus make this vacuum, preventing any of the temperature from this cool salt gush geyser from escaping. Taking way too long for them to get this thing built. It's already been like 14 days since this entire thing started. And I have been expanding, I have been digging out, and, like, I don't want to, like, show all that, because, I mean, honestly, do you really care about seeing me digging? Or hearing that people are starving every five minutes. We are all getting some places. I have decided to feed these guys again. They keep getting overcrowded every so often, so I keep just taking the eggs that these guys give me and just keep throwing them in the other room. Although these guys have to be getting on an age, yes. So, I think this is the last time we're actually going to feed them. 